everyone, this is Melissa Armo with Stock Swoosh, and I'm here today to do a trade tracking review and also discuss profit and risk, which is very important as a professional trader. If you would like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com, and I urge you to follow me at any one of these social media sites. The best one probably is YouTube. You can also call me if you have questions about the class or anything that I do at 929-3200-GAP. So how much money would you have made taking the trades in the live trading room in the last 20 trades, risking approximately $1,000 per trade? Let's go over the last month. So May 18, Cisco was $900 profit. Foot Locker was a good one, $2,450. Then it was off for the Memorial Day holiday. Coors was good. Wanted it to go a little bit more, but still was happy. $700 profit. June 1st, did two trades. HBE, nice one. $2,500, but EXPR was a loser. Lost $900. Restoration Hardware, profit, $1,260. June 5th, no trades. June 6th, HTS was, was a really good guy. So I ended up doing two in this. Made over $4,000, $4,200. That was a solid, good, really good day. <laughs> June seventh, DLTH, a thousand bucks. June eighth, Urban was nine hundred thirty. June ninth was hard. Did two trades in pay. Lost in the first one. Lost a thousand bucks. Then made fourteen hundred. Ended up profitable for the day four hundred. June twelfth was a Monday. No trades. June thirteenth, cake, small, made four hundred bucks. June 14th, HRB, $800 profit. June 15th, KR was really good, $2,080. June 16th was a Friday, and this news came out about Whole Foods and Amazon and all of the grocers. Guess what? They gapped down. It was a news, news-related and sector gap. <clears throat> so Target was a short. If you had done the trade I called in the room, you could have made $1,200 in Target. Buy was long on June 19th, just a tiny trade for 180 bucks. June 20th was no trades. June 21st, lost in Adobe, lost 1560. June 27th, lost, or 22nd, lost in Oracle, $935. And finally, to close out the week, very, very happy, had an amazing gap. June 23rd, BBBY made $3,550. So very, very happy about this, and it was a great gap. So the win ratio for the last 20 days in the room, risking $1,000 approximately per trade was what? 80%. So that's 16 winners and four losers. So you could have made $19,155 in the last 20 trading days in the room if you had risked approximately $1,000 per trade. So do you see here how you can put together a month? And how do you do that? That's how you move forward to put together a year. And if you... If you continue, and that's the idea of having consistency to be a career trader, is you do the same thing over and over and over and over again, which is exactly what I do. I have a process, I get up in the morning, I rate my gaps in the pre-market, and I know what I like before the open. I have a strategy, I have a rating system, I have a process, and I figure it out beforehand. So that's what helps with the consistency. And also the trade set up on a regular basis. You could be on pace to make over $249,000 a year, which is enough money for most people to live. So whether you live in Manhattan, where I live, or anywhere in the world, this is, you know, this is real money, people. And that, if, if, if your goal, I don't know what your goal is. I mean, some people come to me and, <clears throat> you know, I don't think they're serious, to be honest with you. But... You know, there are people that come to me that are serious and they really want to succeed. They want to trade for a career. They want to be professional traders. They want to make a lot of money. They have the, the drive, the desire, the ambition to do it. So, you know, there's lots of people out there. Some people don't take it seriously. Some people do. I, I would say the people that take it seriously are the ones that have the highest odds of success. And if you... Find someone like me that can mentor you and call the trades in the live room like I do and, 
and do the ratings. I mean, I, I'm spoon feeding these trades people every morning by calling the entries, the stops, the exits, the gap ratings, everything. And you learn my system too in the class. You do have to take the class before you join the live trading room, but I'm the best possible chance for people to be successful if you wanna do this for a living. It's just that you do have to follow a structure and, and you have to be disciplined. I don't, I don't think it's that hard because, you know, I know from personal experience that it is about finding one good thing. It's about booking the money as well. If you had done all of these exact same trades, risking $500 a trade, let's just say you can't afford a thousand. Guess what? You still would have had the same win ratio, 80%, 16 winners, four losers, and you still could have made it in the last 20 days, risking $500 a trade over nine grand, 9,577 bucks. I mean, you know, that is, that's real money. And, and that's risking $500 a trade. And what if you can only risk 250 a trade? Divide it by half. That's still over 4,500 a month, you know? And, and a lot of people are not even making that in their regular jobs. Uh, there, there's a lot of people in the United States of America that, that would love to make over 50 grand a year. I mean, the household medium income, I think in the US currently for, 20, for 2016 was like 40 some thousand. So even if you are on pace to make 4,500 approximately a month, with a $250 risk, you'd be on pace to make more than the median income in the U.S. households. So in 20 days, risking approximately $500, you could be on pace to make $124,000 plus a year. This is enough for many people to earn a living. It's six figures a year. And, and, and it's risking $500 a trade. So what's the difference between trading with a small account versus a big account? The only difference between trading with a small account versus a big account is that you can risk more money if you have a larger account, obviously. Consequently, when the trade works, your profits will be larger with a bigger account. However, that does not mean that you should necessarily wait to trade or wait to even learn how to trade until you have a big account. A lot of people email me, they wanna wait till they have all this money. That's not necessarily. You know, the truth, you know, you, you can start out small, and, and learn and build it up. I, I just don't see what's wrong with that. I mean, everyone has very, very high uh, goals that I talk to, and I think that's great. But what's problematic is the amount of time that you wanna achieve them if you don't have the financials to start out, out of the gate in a big way. If you've got a lot of knowledge and you know what to do, you will achieve your goals faster than if you don't know what to do, even if you have money. So I want people to keep that in mind. If you could make $200 a day, that's still a thousand bucks a week. And if you have a small account, that's still $4,000 a month. That's better than not trading at all. Making $4,000 with a small account is better than a losing, playing around, doing dumb trades. I can't tell you how many people that I know that do dumb trades I talk to are not knowing what to do at all. And me not making any money sitting on the sidelines, which is a lot of people also that I talk to. And they're losing time in their life where they could be learning and earning money trading with my gap system. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what it is about 2017, but I have had people that have emailed me in 2017 that have been following me since 2012 and 2013. And they haven't done the class and now they want to do it. For the last four or five years, they could have been trading and making money with me. I mean, you know, again, I'm moving forward. That's the kind of person that I am. If you want to sit in the sidelines and wait, you're going to miss your opportunity. So you take what you have right now and you make it work for you so you can move forward and you take the steps and you have a plan of action and you do it. And that's how you achieve your goals in life. We'd all love to run out and make a million dollars in the next week or year. I mean, who wouldn't want to do that? But why is that necessary? If that's your goal in five years or 10 years, you're never gonna get there if you're sitting on the sidelines and waiting. So how much do you need? You can open up a proprietary day trading account. If you don't know what that is, you can just Google it. With a minimum of 2,500 bucks. Your buying power will vary, but typically it will be 10 to one. You can also open a retail trading account. Again, if you don't know what that is, just Google it. I broker and you will need a minimum of 25,000 to actively day trade your buying power will be four to one intraday. 
And if you want to do less day trades, they actually cap you. You can't be active five days a week, but they will cap you on a five day period of certain minimum amounts of trades. Talk to your broker about that. As a professional responsible trading educator though, I believe that people really should learn how to trade before taking any risk at all. I mean, I just, you know, one of the re reasons I require the training room as a prerequisite that you have to do the golden gap class is because I want people to be profitable and make money. So in, in my mind, you have to be in a stable position that you are ready to do it and committed. I think that you need to learn how to trade before you can trade at all. Because the likelihood of you losing if you don't know what to do is high. Just like the likelihood of you making money is higher if you know what to do and you know a quality system and, and, and have access to a mentor like me. Now I'm going to talk about a topic here that I rarely talk about. <laughs> I'm going to call it reality versus craziness. Can you make $1,000 a day risking $1,000? The answer is yes. That's absolutely realistic and not insane. Not only am I doing it, but I've taught people to do it and, you know, again, been doing it for years. Is that likely if you have a good system and an 80% win ratio, once again, high win ratio? Yes. Okay. Now, can you make $8,000 in 30 days or approximately a month, let's say, with $1,000 cash? That's all you would have in your account, let's say, with a six to one buying power leverage. So that would be 6,000 grand. So say you would actually be turning $1,000 over in 30 days to eight grand. Is that realistic or is that crazy? It is not realistic. It is absolutely crazy. And not only that, it is irresponsible. It is not likely and what I call irresponsible and crazy. You can make money in the market, yes. You do not have to start from scratch making millions. You have to start out on the right foot. This means learn what to do correctly. Follow a responsible mentor, a responsible mentor. And there's a difference, people. Follow a good trader. Learn a high win ratio system. Learn a system you can even learn and do it for yourself. We don't have to rely on the mentor, okay? Risk the amount of money you can afford to risk with a realistic expectation of the profits in a realistic time period. That is critical. Please be responsible with believing people that say they can make you crazy amounts of money like $8,000 with only $1,000 in the account in a month's time. There are so many places out there that actually are irresponsible and give the trading industry a bad reputation and I'm calling them out right now because you can make money in the market but you have to be responsible and you have to think realistically and you have to stop believing in the craziness you know if you want to believe in the craziness go for it the chances of you losing are high and the chances of chances of you are being profitable or making it are zero quite frankly you you have to get into the realm of reality I, you know that's that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to say but you know if reality is if reality is making $124,000 a year risking $500 a trade why why is that a bad reality if your reality is risking a thousand dollars a trade and making 240 grant forty nine thousand dollars a year 250 a year or whatever you know, on average, this is where we're starting for 2017. What's what's wrong with that? Okay. There's nothing wrong with that, actually. It's great. So to risk $500 a trade, you need a minimum of 50,000 buying power. That means $5,000 in a prop account with a 10 to 1 risk or 25,000 in a retail account. To risk a $1,000 trade, I'm telling you how much money you need if you want to do it. You need a minimum of 100,000 buying power. That means 10 grand in a prop account or 25,000 in a retail account. If you need more information, email me. If you can open a prop account with $2,500, you can grow it over time to five or 10,000 and there's nothing wrong with that. You will take smaller risk. 
you will learn how to do it. You will get good at reading charts and the entries and the exits, and then you will grow the account, okay? You have to do what you're willing to do. I want to review here what the one of the best things people say about my system is that they're in the live trading room with me after the class, and then I call it the trades. I call the entries, I call the exits. I'm really, really good at calling trades. You just have to follow what I'm doing and do it. DLTH was a couple of weeks ago. You could have shorted this here, put the stop, got the drop, got out. You could have shorted this here, got a second drop, got a third drop, got a fourth drop. So I'm extremely good at number one, seeing the gap, which would be DLTH or the stock pick, the stock to watch on the day right into the open seeing the direction, predicting it, and then also getting the entry immediately. So my entries are just super fine. Whether you get out at the first one, or the second one, or the third one, or the fourth one, I mean, it doesn't even matter. You're up. So one of the best things people say about my system is that they're able to be in the trading room with me and take my trades. So I teach a class. It's called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find pick and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. Class is online. It is $4,999. It's 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time from July 15th and July 16th. It's Saturday and Sunday. That's the next course if you would like to do it. You can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you are interested. You will learn how to make money in the stock market trading gaps if you decide to come with me. Yes, the class does cost almost five grand. Is it worth it? The answer is yes. You will make back the money from the class by trading with me depending on your risk in a fast period of time or it could be a little bit longer if you have a small account. But that's not even the point, people. The point, people, is that you will learn how to read charts, you will learn how to read trends, you will learn how to take directional bias and gaps right, you will learn how to read institutional money, you will acquire new skills through learning my system, you will be able to be in the trading room with me, and you will be able to get my calls like today's BBBY, which you could have made $3,500 in, which almost covered the cost of the class in one trade. So, you know, I, I think that it's about having the conviction, believing that you could do it, and, you know, being committed. And, and a lot of people I talk to are not. So the question is, are you committed to trading? Are you committed to making the money? Do you believe you can do it? Do you have conviction? Yes or no? If you do, you are the right candidate for someone to come and learn from me. And again, you can reach out to me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com if you would like more information. Have a great, great day, everyone.